This video explains vector control. Vector control is one of the motor control systems. There are three motor control methods, simply turning on and off the motor, square wave control using inverter technology, and sine wave control. Vector control is an advanced sine wave control technique that provides efficient motor control from low RPM to high RPM. Vector control entails a very complicated process and requires a sequence of algorithms. Vector control can implement censored sine wave control and sensorless sine wave control easily. This video uses a three-phase motor as an example to describe sensorless vector control. Three-phase AC waveforms consist of three sine waves, which are shifted by 120 degrees each other. Three-phase motor supplies these three alternate currents to the three terminals respectively to rotate a rotor. The number of motor rotation is controllable by the frequency of alternate currents. That is, the frequency of alternate currents is needed to be lower to make the motor rotate slowly. Likewise, the frequency needs to be higher to make the motor rotate at high speed. Let's look at the basic system block diagram for vector control. First, vector control begins from monitoring the waveforms of U, V, and W, which drive a motor. The three phase signals, U, V, and W, are converted to current values, I U, I V, and I W, respectively, which are then converted to two phase current values, I alpha and I beta. Then, these two phase currents are changed into the currents, ID and IQ, by the coordinate transformation, from stationary coordinates to rotation coordinates. The purpose of vector control is to coincide these ID and IQ with the beforehand fixed ideal values ID ref and IQ ref, respectively. ID and IQ monitored the current of the motor, and since they are the values which were converted from it, they have shifted from the ideal values. Then, in order to lose the gap, PI control rectifies. The compensation value is given by not the current value, but the voltage value of VD and VQ. Next, reverse coordinate conversion is performed to the stationary coordinates from the rotating coordinates to obtain V alpha and V beta. Although three phase input signals U, V, and W of an inverter circuit are drawn from voltage of this two phase V alpha and V beta, space vector modulation is performed to obtain them at this time instead of simple two-phase three-phase conversion. The input signals U, V, and W of an inverter circuit and the signals X, Y, and Z of those negative phase are acquired by this conversion. And the signals of U, V, and W are given to a motor. One cycle of vector control was completed above. This cycle is repeated and the rotation state of an ideal is made possible. That concludes the outline of vector control. In the next chapter, we will describe vector conversion.